Well, hello, beloved. Shalom. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. So, Father God, right now, we just thank you for your wonderful Son, Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the shedding of his blood, Father God. We just thank you for your glory. We thank you for your love and your amazing grace. How sweet thy sound. We thank you for your sweet Holy Spirit, our perfect comforter. We just thank you, Father God. We exalt your name, Father God. Let thy will be done in our lives today. Let the church and the people of God and Yahweh say amen. Well, hello, beloveds. Hello, hello, hello. All right, so the word is going to come from 2 uh, Kings uh, chapter 25. Hallelujah. You know how we do here. I'm just going to pull out some scriptures. Hallelujah. And we're going to talk about it. Um, but the Lord wanted me to tell you today that you are about to eat from the king's table, said the Lord. You are about to eat from the king's table, says the Lord. So, you know, the king's table is like a reserved table. Most of the time, it's seated with 12 guests, hallelujah, but it's the king's royalty entourage, said the Lord. So, you are about uh, uh, to be moved from the back to the front, said the Lord, but uh, we're going to go ahead and read uh, what uh, 2 Kings 25 is really about. This is a time when um, uh, King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon Hallelujah. When he had um, uh, took in, uh, the king of Judah, hallelujah, and the whole Jerusalem into, into captivity. Uh, because right here in the Bible said the, the, uh, the fall of Jerusalem, and then next it said the captivity of Judah. Hallelujah. Uh, so we know um, that, you know, back then and there, a lot of times that the people was not doing right by Yahweh. So, you know, he allowed the enemy to come in like a flood and did not really stand up for them. All right. <laughs> okay. Hallelujah. Um, but now we know in our time we, we are to do better hallelujah and be more attentive to the father's needs and plans for our life hallelujah so let's read a little bit right here so this is when um king Nebuchadnezzar, no, king Nebuchadnezzar of babylon and all his army uh, of uh, babylon uh came against Jerusalem and encamped against it, and they built a siege wall against it all around, all right? So the city was besieged until, you know, the 11th year, all right? And then it says in three, um, you know, a phantom had came, um, a phantom had come, uh, become so severe in the city that there was no food. Okay, there was no food for the people of the land. All right, so now we're going to shift us a little bit. So we, we, we are, the Lord is saying that it's the enemy, it's the devil that had robbed you, that had seized you, that had placed this demonic wall around your life. Hallelujah. And some of us don't know how we're going to eat nor sleep at night, says the Lord. All right, because you've been taken into captivity by the enemy. So follow this and watch this, what the prophet is saying today. Hallelujah. Then the city wall was broken through and all the men of war flee at night by way of the gate between two walls, all right? Then, then it said that between the two walls, all right, uh, which was by the king's garden. Now, mind you, this is when um, Nebuchadnezzar, hallelujah, was, was uh, coming in, was busting in, hallelujah, uh, to take the whole Jerusalem uh, and Judah in, in, in captivity. So the Lord has shown us how the king had moved upon the king uh, of, of, uh, of Judah, all right? Hallelujah. So um, anyway, so he um, encamped it all around against the city. All right. And the king went by the way of the plain. All right. So this tells me that the enemy came in very uh, conniving, very uh, slippery, like a snake. Hallelujah. Um, you know, he took he took your life in captivity by force of the Lord. Um, you know, so this tells me that he did it in a very cunning way, said the Lord. All right. So, so they took the king and brought him up to the king of Babylon. All right. And then when they did that, uh, they pronounced judgment on the king. All right. So they went in, they, they, they seized the whole uh, plantation, hallelujah, of Jerusalem, Judah, hallelujah. And then they took the king um, and brought him in front of the, front of the demonic king, hallelujah. And they have pronounced judgment on on him. Now, mind you, the Lord allowed all this to happen, all right? And then whenever um, this happened, hallelujah, they end up killing the sons right before his eyes, all right? Then they bound him. Come over here. Then they bound the king. And then on another note, it said that they had plucked 
the eyes out of the king. So they caused the king not only to be uh, 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 to pronounce judgment upon him, but they caused spiritual blindness to him to him as well. So they don't have ripped the city apart. All right, they had built up a wall, hallelujah, against the city. They had took the uh, the city uh, into captivity. They bound the man of God, hallelujah. They killed the sons, and then they pronounced it judgment on him, hallelujah. All right, and then if you keep on reading down, it speaks about you know he sent a captain of the guard, hallelujah. Um, and what happened was in nine, he burned the house of of the Lord and the king's house, all the houses of Jerusalem. Um, that is all the house of great. He burned with fire. So this demon, hallelujah, ended up destroying destroying the house of the Lord. Now we know in our in, in where we are at now that the devil can never destroy the house of God because we are walking what faithfully with, with, with the Lord. All right, but here, hallelujah, the Lord is saying that, you know that some of you guys over here ha has been going through so much of warfare, so much of you know I'm hearing the word trespassing uh, 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 from the devil. Hallelujah, especially these sent ones, these apostles and these prophets. Hallelujah. Um, so the Lord, so sorry, so the devil came in. Hallelujah, and, and he destroyed your life. Okay, he destroyed everything around you, your family. Um, because right here we see uh, that the uh, that it says there in seven that he killed the sons right in front of his eyes. All right, all right, and then you know he scattered he scattered everybody from the land. Um, the devil pronounced judgment upon your life. Hallelujah. You know you went into what I'm hearing the Lord say. You went into starvation. You went into a land of a phantom. Where, there's, where, where, uh, where, where there was no food, nothing to eat. Um, now, watch what I'm saying. I'm talking spiritually wise. Now, some of you guys probably, you know, was, you know, in a natural, um, you know, broke as well as far as financially having that powerful testimony of, of who and how uh, 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 brought you out of it. Hallelujah. Okay, so now, another thing I'm seeing in spirit, uh, when, it, when it talks about the wall, hallelujah, the, the devil places demonic wall around your life. He encamped it around your life. Hallelujah. Nevertheless, it goes on and talks about, you know, the thing that the enemy has stolen. I mean, so right here in 14, hallelujah, and 15, it speaks about, you know, the, the, uh, the fire pans, the basins, uh, the, the solid gold, the solid silver, all right, uh, the kettle too, and then they talk about the pots, the shovels, the tremors, the spoons, uh, the, all the bronze utensils. Now, we know uh, that whenever the Father had even asked Moses, Solomon, hallelujah, we know that there was a certain type of way that the Father wanted his tabernacle and his temple built. And we know that the Levites, the, the, the priests, hallelujah, had special utensils to use, hallelujah, in the, the tabernacle of grace, hallelujah, the, the, uh, the tabernacle, hallelujah, um, and also uh, the tent, hallelujah, the temple, however you want to word it. But we know the Father will, will put things in certain positions and areas, you know, that's just how he is, hallelujah. So whenever his presence uh, uh, comes down, he can rest there, says the Lord. All right, so they don't have super seas and siege all of this, hallelujah. I mean, they destroy everything that was was uh, from the Lord. And then it speaks about uh, right here in, 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 in 16, it speaks about uh, the two pillars, one sea, and the carts which Solomon had made for the house of the Lord. I mean, I mean, the articles, I mean, beyond measure, they destroy everything. They took everything from God's people. Hallelujah. Now we know that this king wasn't obedient to, to the father, but that's not what God is saying. You have been obedient one, but we know life happens and, you know, it's part of our trials and testimonies to share with other people, to bring them up and out to the Lord. All right. So now listen to this. <laughs> My God. Even though all this happened, now the readings come from 2 Kings 25, but we're going to focus on 27 and 30. Now I'm not going to read the whole entire thing. All right, even though all these things happen to you, said the Lord, you are about to eat from the king's table. Hallelujah. It is time for your great deliverance and release, says the Lord. Because if you know the word of God in 2 Kings 25, hallelujah, the end of results was great. Hallelujah for this king that reigned, the king of Judah. Hallelujah. And you know what happened was whenever that, uh, that, that, that demon, that devil of a king had passed away, hallelujah, his successor 
Nebuchadnezzar, the next king, released the king of Judah. My God. He released the king of Judah from prison. Hallelujah. So God is saying today, I am going to restore you. Hallelujah. I am going to change your life. I'm going to bring you provisions to the Lord. I'm going to give you your portion once and for all back, says the Lord. Because right here it says, he spoke kindly to him and gave him more promising than those of kings who were with him in Babylon. So this man, hallelujah, released the king of Judah and brought him out and brought him up to the king's table and seated him higher than the other kings that were in Babylon, says the Lord. So you are going to be seated in a promised seat with the, with the king at the king's table with, with other kings that you will sit higher above, says the Lord. So God is going to restore everything that the enemy stole from you. He's going to bring you provisions. Watch this. It says here in 30, and, and, uh, and as for his provisions, there was regular, given him by the king. So the um, so the king given the man of God, the king of Judah, great provisions, you know, on a regular basis. Hallelujah. And it said the portion for each day all of his days of his life. Hallelujah. So until the day where the king of Judah had passed away, this king of Babylon was given the king of Judah respect. Hallelujah. He was giving him regularly provisions all the days of his life. Hallelujah. Now let's go back up to here. Hallelujah. Then 29 said that he changed a, a, a prison a garments and he ate bread regularly before the king all the days of his life. So God's about to change your garments. My God. God's about to change your garments and your gifts. <laughs> God's about to change your anointing, says the Lord. He's about to change that, that ungodly garments to a godly garments. He's about to change that old anointing to a new anointing, says the Lord. So you're going to come out this thing looking uh, spotless and brand new. Hallelujah. All right, so the Lord said that I am going to restore you for the days they stole from you. Hallelujah. From the days of captivity. Hallelujah. For the, for the times they placed judgment on you. Hallelujah. The Lord said, For I am the judge of the earth, says the Lord. I am the ruler of all kings. I am the real kings. Hallelujah. So God is going to restore all these things back to you. Uh, hallelujah. He, he's going to restore the days of your captivity. He's going to restore the days of the times that the devil has stole your, your, your homes, your houses. Hallelujah. He's going to restore your children. He's going to restore your bank account. He's going to restore all the proper too that you lost, everything that you did not see. Hallelujah. God's going to restore it for you. I'm telling you, even, even I, I tell people all the time, hallelujah, when, I, when I'm led by the Holy Spirit, God even is going to restore your lost prayers. The prayers that were stolen from you in the days of your captivity. God is going to bring you back to the time of your first love. Hallelujah. You are going to remember God's name. God is going to change you. My God, even your outside appearance is about to change because right here it says in 29, he changed from his prison garment. Come on here, somebody. All right. He changed from his prison garments. All right. All right. To a, I mean, the Lord say to a garments of praise. Hallelujah. So your out of prison are going to change. Hallelujah. I'm telling tell you, beloved, God has some great things in store for you. And then watch this. Watch this. You remember in, in, a, in, a, in a video or videos of before uh, when I released the word over your life, I can't remember which one, but it was, it was shortly ago. And I said that you are about to be walking in wealth. Someone's going to bring you wealth. That's going to be a one time thing that's going to carry you over and for all the days of your life. And what this is confirmation. And, and the Father is reminding me right here. Watch this. It says, He changed. From his prison garments. And he ate bread regularly. I'm here the bread of life. Regularly. Before the king. All the days of his life. Watch this. 30 says. A portion for each day. All the days of his life. My God. You are going to be eating. You're going to be eating from the king's table all the days of your life. And I'm not talking about the crumbs. 
Nana Mosiata. I'm not talking about the crumbs. I'm talking about the bread of life. I'm talking about the riches from the wealth of the other kings. That God is going to place you in a promised seat higher than the kings has already ran out there to the Lord. But he's going to break you on bread all the days of your life, says the Lord. My God, restoration is here. Restoration is here. Restoration is here. Provisions is here. All right. I mean, everything is here for you. Right at the king's table, says the Lord. You shall eat at the king's table. And one thing before I, I get off of here, beloved, and the Lord want me to emphasize this. Now, you notice right here in 6, it says that the devil, we're going to say the, the, the king of the devil of Babylon, because he was, he pronounced a judgment on him. But the Holy Ghost, the spirit of the living God, says that, for I am the judge. Hey, I am the judge and the ruler of all things. I am the judge of the nations. I'm in the judge of the whole entire world, the people and all that is innocent the Lord. So how can this devil or this demon judge us? Well, he is the ultimate judge. For I am the judge of life, says the Lord, my God. And God is going to pronounce judgment on the devil for putting your, his people in captivity, says the Lord. For I am the judge of the earth. I am the judge of the ocean. I am the judge of the wind. I am the judge of the air. I am the judge of the trees. I am the judge of the animals. I am the judge of the whole entire world. And I am going to pronounce judgment on the devil says the Lord who stole and took my children into captivity yeah 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 yes God hallelujah so Father God we give you praise for this judgment that's going to be reversed from us to them Lord God we thank you for keeping us Lord God for the time of trouble Lord God we thank you Lord God for your right powerful hand coming down Lord God and together your children today Lord God we thank you for the provisions that's coming hallelujah the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the restoration that's coming hallelujah the portion that's coming hallelujah we just thank you Lord God and we together on one accord we seal the deal right now we seal this word today right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Well, beloved, amen. I love you guys with the heart of Christ. Be ye encouraged, said the Lord. I will be back. Shalom and God bless you. Hallelujah. And remember, you are going to be eating from the king's table, says the Lord. Love you. Salam. We'll be back.